everyone, how's it going? Cloud here, and welcome to my guide on the Fremenic Isles quest. Now, for this quest, you need the final requirements, so you must have completed the prequel quest, the Fremenic Trials, and obviously that requires a lot of different levels. Um, as for the levels for this quest, you need level 20 construction. Um, it states you need level 56 woodcutting, however, this isn't required if you buy the round shield and split logs from the Grand Exchange, which I do recommend anyway, um, as it saves a lot of time later on during the quest. So you don't really have to worry about that woodcutting level you need level 46 crafting uh, which can be done with level 43 crafting and a crafting potion if um, need be and you also need level 40 agility and again that could be done with level 35 agility and a summer pie recommended skills I recommend 43 prayer so you can use the different protect from um, prayers and also level 25 defense to wear the yak hide armor which will help massively during this quest the only other requirements is to be able to defeat the enemies, you need to defeat 10 level 68 ice trolls and a level 91 ice troll king, which I'll speak about a bit later on in this guide. That's it for the requirements, now on to the items. You will need a raw tuner, you will need some ores depending on your mining level and these can be noted, so if you're le between level 1 and 10 mining, you will need 8 tin ores. If you are between 11 and 54 mining, you will need 7 coal and if you are 55 mining and above, you will need 6 mithril ores. The other items you require are 8 ropes, however these can be obtained during the quest uh, and you can bring extra if you want to make Fremenic round shield yourself, but uh, I'm going to recommend uh, purchasing them which I'm going to speak about now. So there are some items that you make um, during the quest, however it is a lot easier if you buy them and it also takes away some of the requirements. So for example, uh, you will need 8 split logs if you are below level 54 wood cutting, however even if you're above level 54 wood cutting I'd still recommend buying the split logs as it saves a lot of time, uh, lot of time for the quest. Yak hide armor which is a top and bottom set and again you do need to make them during the quest however you can bring your own to save time and also a Fremenic round shield um, which again can be made during the quest if you have 56 wood cutting but again to save a lot of time and hassle I recommend buying one yourself and obviously any weapon armor and food that you're going to need uh, for the fight however um, as I mentioned a bit uh, a moment ago about the level 25 defense to wear yak hide armor that is kind of the best armor to use against the trolls during the quest so as for the rest of the armor you're only really worrying about like your top your boots gloves cape etc as your chest and legs will be uh, using yak hide and also that Fremenic round shield is very effective as well so you want to mainly focus on having a one handed weapon and so you can use the Fremenic round shield as your defensive weapon. So that's it for the requirements and items, now on to quest starting points. So we're currently at the Fremenic Province Lodestone, which can be accessed via the Lodestone network. And to begin the quest, we're going to head to the most north uh, dock in Relica, um, which will be where most of this quest is taking place. So there's not a lot travelling around apart from around the Relica region. And we're going to go find a person called Maud Gunnars, who can be found on the dock in Relica. So just watch where I'm going. So when you reach Maud, speak to him and he carries a message from the king of Jaratiso, uh, who seeks you for an important task. On further inquiry, the ferryman shares you with the history of Jaratiso and Night is Not, and the ever going feuds between the neighbouring towns. After hearing the full story, speak to Maud again to be taken to Jaratiso. So from the docks, you're going to head to the chequered floored building, um, which you'll see on the mini-map, to speak to the king. Now, as he tries to explain to you about his predicament, he is constantly interrupted by his cat, and the king eventually gives in and asks you to get the cat a raw tuner so that you can carry on. So give the raw tuner uh, to the cat, or to the king to give to the cat, and proceed to talk, and he will tell you that Nitus Nor has been docking a vast number of trade ships, and he's suspicious they are setting up for something. Just then, the king's chancellor will inform the king that the dwarf traders from Keldegrim have arrived early for their ore shipment, and the city miners are not capable enough to get the resources on time. So as the king begins to get injustice on the miners, you offer to help to mine out the ores yourself. Now if required, the ores can be mined in the cave underneath the village, which is accessible by exiting the west gate and going northeast. However, hopefully you've brought the uh, required ores with you, and like I said, it depended on your mining level and what ores you need to obtain. So after you have your assigned ores, whether you brought them with you yourself or you've gone and mined them yourself, you want to hand them over to the king to be rewarded with some different coins. 
So with no more interruptions, the king reiterates that the burger of Nizatar is hatching an evil plan to uh, down Jad to so, and wants you to retrieve more information. Now he will tell you that you need to speak to his uh, spy master who can be found in uh, Night is Not. He will also mention that you need to dress them in costume to be allowed an audience with them. So what you need to do is take the silly jester costume from the chest behind the king's throne. Um, if you haven't got enough space in, in your inventory, there is a bank nearby where you can deposit some items, which you can obtain later when you need them. Once you have the silly jester costume, speak to the king and he'll tell you that the password for reporting to the spy master is free stuff please. So what you need to do is head back to Relica using the boat that you um, used to get to Jatisai, and now you need to take a ferry to Nitus Knot by speaking to Mariah Gunners, who stands just next to her husband. Once you arrive on the docks, go up the muddy path into the town and you want to speak to Slug, who, became, who can be found behind the bank. After giving you an operative name, he'll send you off to the hall for entertaining in the Berger and will uh, enlist it in on the conversations of his council. Now you must do this part while wearing only the Jester costume as any and all audience are frisks before appearing before the Berger. So with the uh, costume equipped, head to the long hall south of the bank and speak to Mornis and tell him that you're an idle juggler looking for work and you must now engage and occupy the king's attention doing everything he asks you to do by the jester control panel. While you are entertaining the king as the jester you need to be also listening out um, for the guards exchange of words because there's some key words that you need to report back to the spy master. However I will tell you what those key words are so don't worry about that too much and just keep your attention focused on what the king is asking you to do and obviously perform the relative uh, action with the jester control panel. So after you finish your performance successfully, you want to head back to Slug and tell him about your required information and he'll ask you a few questions, the answers to which are emphasised in the uh, conversation that the um, guards were having. So uh, they will assault the cave in two days, they have 17 recruits so far, um, more shields are completed by noon, they will finish the armour by tomorrow and the two bridges will need to be repaired. If you've given him the correct uh, answers, he'll hand you a reward for your work and assign you to gain the trust of the Berger and extract more details. So what we want to do is go to the long hall and talk to Mornis again, however without the Jester costume equipped this time. The Berger, like the King of Jatiso, is also on the hunt for the Outlander honoured with the Fremenic title, but isn't ready to trust you quite yet. He asks you to prove your loyalty by helping the townsfolk in their tasks. The bridges to the north require extensive repairs and they require eight lengths of rope. Now, if you didn't bring any rope with you, you can kill the yaks just outside the town for yak hair and spin it on the village's spinning wheel in the southeast part of the island to turn it into rope. Once you have eight ropes, show the ropes to the berger and he'll send you on the next errand which is retrieving eight split logs. This is done by slicing arctic pine logs and using them on the wood cutting stumps that are situated on an island north of the city. And this is the part you obviously require a wood cutting level for and also it's going to save you a lot of time if you've hopefully brought the split logs with you which is eight of them in total. So either way you want to collect the logs and show them to Mornis and Fakrad, the burgers engineer. They will then instruct you to repair the bridges connecting Nicest Knot to the Northern Icy Isles by right clicking on the bridge and selecting repair. So you want to head over to the two bridges to repair them um, by using the right click option like I said. Uh, you may get attacked by ice trolls doing this part. If you do, um, using protect from range will help you considerably reduce the damage taken. So obviously with the rope and split logs, go to the northern green aisle and repair the two bridges on the left. Once you've done this, go back and speak to Mornis again. Now once you've done this, you want to go back and speak to Mornis in a long haul again. So he'll pay you another reward for your efforts and now that you have entered the Berger's good books he'll explain to you his important plan. The troll caves in the northern part of the Isles house an enormous horde of ice trolls led by the ice troll king. While their town was busy fighting with Jatiso, the trolls grew in number and as a result have initiated attacks upon the town and its citizens. 
Therefore, they've gathered a military army for assaulting the case, but being a cautious man, he wants all the help he can get. With your contributions in consideration, he requests you lead his armies into battle. As a precaution, he also needs to know how much the King of Jad Tisso is aware of their schedule, since they may misinterpret the assault on the trolls. So once you finish speaking to him, you're going to leave the island and return to the king on Jatiso. So you obviously want to use the um, boat to get back from Nitus Knot to Relica, and then again use the relevant boat to get to Jatiso and go and speak to the king. So, once you're back with the king, inform him of the repaired bridges in Nitus Knot, and before you can speak further, he'll order his chancellor to produce a financial report. The chancellor tells that the city has almost an empty coffer, and enraged, the king will demand a window tax to be placed on the citizens so they can supply their army with food and weapons, and he appoints you as the royal tax collector. Before you can protest, the Chancellor hushes you and pleads you to go along with the King's schemes and he will give you an empty tax bag telling you to retrieve 1,000 coins for each window from the shopkeepers in the city. So you need to visit every shop in the town and collect the tax from their owners. So I'll just tell you what um, coin amount you need from each um, store. So the Armourer's Hut, you need 8,000 coins. The Weaponsmith Hut, you need 6,000 coins. The Eating Hall, you require 5,000 coins. And the Food Shop, you require 5,000 coins for a total of 24,000. When collecting the tax from Van Ligger, I forget how to pronounce her name properly, you can either pay the tax for her or refund the money after the quest. Both these actions would grant them access to her contraband yak produce store, which sells various yak goods. So once you have the 24,000 uh, coins, take them back to the king, only to realise there isn't enough money to pay for the equipment, so the king imposes another tax on his subjects, this time for anyone having facial hair. So being the tax collector, you must now visit the armor trader called Ram Hring Hring, the ore trader, Scully Micra, who is the weapon trader, uh, Flossie Dalkossen, who is the fish merchant, and Keeper Ketleton, the chef, and collect a thousand coins from each of them. With the bag now containing 29,000 coins, you need to return to the king, and the Chancellor finally notes that there is enough in the treasury for the payment. However, they're not quite done with you, and the king orders you to perform another renaissance operation in Nitus Knot, as he has been notified that the Berger acquired some outside help for the bridge repairs. So what you need to do is return to Nitus Knot using the usual uh, transport method, and get your Jester costume and speak with Slug once again. So, speaking to Slug, he'll tell you to spy on the Berger and his aides one more time while wearing the just, uh, Jester costume and entertaining them. So this part will be exactly like the part you did a little while ago that you need to entertain the Berger with the Jester controls while listening out for the conversation. But again, I will tell you what uh, options you need to report back to Slug. So after you've successfully completed the Berger, you need to go and speak to Slug and provide him with another report and he'll ask you some questions on it. The answers to the first two questions are that I have anchored them near Esetria and then they shall sail our potions to them tonight. And when he asks you the final question, you must reply with, I have been helping night as not. So, what you need to do now is sail back to Jad so again and inform the king about Mornis and who is gathering an army to attack the troll king. So once you're back on Jatiso and you've informed the king about the army to attack the troll king, uh, he's still adamant that the Berger is out to get him and you quickly tell him about his petty obsessions against his cousin. After you finish ranting at him, he will have learned nothing and instead orders his armies to attack the troll cave to take the glory before night is not, and he will give you a royal decree that we need to deliver back to Mornis, warning him that any interference will be assumed as an act of war. So now we're going to return back to Mornis on night is not uh, to speak to him. So once you're back there, uh, speak to Mornis and show him the decree, who remarks that they would never attack Jatiso and void the truce that was signed by their fathers. Moving on, he asks you to be guided through the traditions of Nitus Knot before leading the raiding party to the caves. 
So, if you've already made or bought these following quest items, the following process can be skipped by talking to Mornis a couple more times. So the first right is to create some Yakhide armor, so obviously if you've bought it you don't need to worry, however if you haven't you need to obtain 3 Yakhides and have them cured for a fee of 5 coins each, and then with some thread in your inventory you need to craft the uh, cured Yakhides into Yakhide chaps in the Yakhide body. Once you've shown the Yak Hide armor, uh, regardless whether you bought it or made it, speak to Mornus again to learn how to make a Fremnic Ram shield. This is what you require the woodcut in level 4, and you'll require two Arctic pine logs, uh, and one bronze nail, and a rope. A bronze nail can be bought in the crafting store, which is beside the bank chest, whereas a rope can be made with the Yak Care, as uh, described earlier on. And to craft a shield, you must locate a woodcutting stump uh, north of the town and select cut wood, and then make Fremnic Ram shield. Uh, again, return to Mornis with either the purchased uh, Fremnic Round Shield or the made one, and you'll now have the traditional armour of Nitus Knot, and he'll appoint you the champion of Nitus Knot, welcoming you into the clan. Before leaving, Mornis tells you to bring the Trolls King head as a trophy, and his aid will inform you that the army is positioned at the Eastern Ice Caves, and that you should avoid the um, Jatiso troops. Now, wearing the Yak Hide armor and the Fremnic Round Shield in the caves is highly recommended as even though it's a lower tier armor, the troll attacks are very efficiently blocked by it. Obviously, your other armor slots can be filled with appropriate items, while your inventory should have prayer potions, uh, plenty of food, and maybe some combat boosts and potions as well. And I would also consider taking an emergency teleport just in case you nearly die, as it is a bit of a tricky uh, pain to get back to the cave. Also note that you cannot bring summons into the troll caves with you. So when you're ready, you're going to proceed to the very north of the Fremenic Islands, using Protect from Melee if you brought the Fremenic Round Shield, um, as they'll be using ranged against you, which the shield will block, and obviously Protect from Melee will help uh, if they get close to you. And what you need to do is keep heading as north as far as you can across the bridges, and when you've reached the very northern islands, you're going to start heading east and enter the very eastern caves, and a cutscene will take place. You'll see that the honor guards have already initiated combat with the ice trolls, helping their champion cross the bridge to assault the ice troll king. Now the ice trolls use both melee and ranged attacks. The troll males grunt and runt attack with melee, while the free, uh, females throw large rocks at you. You must now kill 10 of them in the caves before you can face the ice troll king himself. If at any time you wish to know your kill progress, simply look in your quest journal. Now Bork is located near the cave entrance and will provide you with up to 9 tuners, 2 4 dose strength potions and uh, 4 free dose prayer potions upon request. Make sure you have enough inventory space as you can only ask him once for each resource. Now the easiest way to take care of the 10 trolls, uh, especially if you're a lower level, is to attack your fellow honor guard's troll. So if they're already fighting a troll, just help kill them as is when it's near his death it will still count as your kill if you finish it off. Either way, when you've killed 10 trolls, a message will appear in the chat box stating that you can now cross the bridge to kill the troll king. So either, uh, if you've really run out of resources, you can either ask Bork to, uh, for more resources or go back to um, Nice Tot, restock and supplies and then come back to fight the king. But to be honest, you shouldn't have much trouble against him as long as you follow my steps. So before crossing the bridge, make sure you have enough health and a protection prayer on, either magic or missiles, uh, since the Troll King gets a first strike on you. Now the Ice Troll King has a combat level of 91 and makes use of a powerful arsenal of attacks from all sides of the combat triangle. Now protect from magic is preferable if wearing the Yakhide armor and Fremenic round shield since they only address his melee and ranged attacks. The king has a special attack that knocks you into the wall and deals up to 356 damage. Using protection prayers against magic and missiles reduces this attack, hence it's suggested to avoid switching on melee protection prayer throughout the entire fight. Since he is a troll, he naturally has high defense against magic and ranged attacks, therefore it's recommended to use melee instead against him. A ring of recoil works well against his melee and magic attacks. Now, as long as you're using your yak hide armor, your Fremenic round shield, you're using melee and maybe you've got some rings of recoil with you, uh, you should not have much trouble against the king at all. He is a lot easier than what he used to be um, a couple of years ago before they updated all the game's combat system. So you shouldn't have much trouble at all. Um, a, a strategy you can use if you are really uh, running into trouble with him is to use the hit and run technique, which is to run in, strike him and then run out of melee range before the king can strike back. 
Other than that though, you shouldn't have much trouble against him at all, and when you've killed the Ice Troll King, you want to retrieve the decapitated head from the corpse, and then what you need to do is to exit the caves, you can either walk back across or use the teleport. Either way, now we're now going to return back to the Night is Not Long Haul um, to finish the quest. So once you're back in Night is Not and you're at Long Hall to speak to Mornis and hand him the souvenir and he will offer you his ancestral helmet as a token of gratitude and he announces that he will now work towards bringing peace between neighbouring towns. And after you finish speaking to him it will come up congratulations you have completed the Fremenic Isles quest. You're awarded 5,000 construction and crafting experience, 10,000 woodcutting experience, 2 times 10,000 experience in either strength, attack, defence or constitution, 14,000 coins in assorted rewards during the quest, a replaceable Fremenic royal helmet known as the Helmet of Night is Not which is an upgrade to the Berserker and Warrior helmet with a plus 3 prior bonus and defensive bonus. You'll have access to a new tree, the Arctic Pine. You'll have access to a Runite Ore Rock, which is in the northeast of Nitus Knot, along with seven coal rocks. Access to a new mine with uh, in Jatiso, with ores up to Adamantite. The ability to make yak hide armor. You'll also have access to the Contraband Yak Produce Store, which is available on Jatizo if you've obviously refunded the 5,000 coins uh, to Velinga or paid it yourself during the quest. Two treasure hunter keys and two hearts of ice. So there we are, quest complete. Quite a long quest, as there's a lot of travelling around uh, between the islands, but it's not really that difficult. The hardest part of this quest used to be against the Ice Troll King uh, a couple of years ago before the evolution of combat, but it is a lot easier now than what it was back then, especially if you make sure you are using the Yakhide Armour and Fremenic Round Shield. But there are some very decent rewards from this quest, obviously the XP rewards that you can get, uh, the different coin rewards that you've got throughout it, obviously the different uh, resources you can now go and obtain, and and of course the helmet of night is not which is a very good helmet um, especially if you're not very good at sort of making money and you can't really get any sort of better uh, armor from like grand exchange which requires a lot more fun so the helmet of night is not uh, will probably be a helmet you'll use for quite some time other than that the main uh, obviously reward of completing this quest as well is able to do the next part of the fremenic saga quest which is glorious memories but yeah, I don't think you run into any problems following my guide. However, if you do get stuck at all, then leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll help you as best as I can. If not, thank you for watching. Please make sure you like, favorite, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to share with your friends. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.